welcome back to the vlog. Today's gonna be a weekend vlog because I just feel like it's gonna be a good weekend. I am about to go to brunch with my girls. Um, we're going to this place called Toast in Beverly Hills, I believe, or West Hollywood. I can't, I don't really know. I've never been there, but I'm really excited. Um, and I think it's gonna be a good time. So I just did a little bit of tidying like I always do, um, like every morning that I wake up. It's funny because I really only tidy the places that people see, <laughs> but everywhere else in my house is in shambles. So I'm really hoping tomorrow will be like a full deep clean day. If you guys saw the last clip, uh, <laughs> I kind of gave up on um, the hope of cleaning a little bit more. I got this new vacuum in the mail by Samsung but there's way too many parts and I was like, if I try to figure this out right now, I'm gonna be late for brunch. So I just figured I would leave that to tomorrow, but I'm actually very excited because if you know, my Dyson vacuum broke back in Ramadan, which was in April, which was many months ago. And I got a little robo vacuum in the meantime, but it just doesn't do the same job as like a handheld vacuum so i just got this new one it has like a ton of parts to it so i'll like i guess share my review on it tomorrow but it's like 10 almost 10 50 right now i'm meeting with them at 12 so i just want to quickly put on some makeup i also got this new spf 30 in the mail by tower 28 um, it's their sunny days tinted sunscreen so i thought i would give this a try on camera as well the shade over here looks like it'll match me, but then when I see the actual shade coming out of the tube, it looks a little light, so I'm a little concerned, but I'm hoping it'll work for me. Before that, I do wanna give a huge thanks to today's video sponsor, which is Supergoop. If you know me, you know Supergoop. If you know Supergoop, you know me. Actually, maybe not. It probably doesn't work the other way around. I am a long time stan of Supergoop. So this, I actually just keep in my makeup bag because I use it as a primer so that I don't forget to put on SPF. You always want to make sure you're putting on SPF. It's the best way to make sure your skin stays beautiful and glowy, you know, as you age gracefully. Um, and also protect your skin from, you know, the harmful sun rays. So yeah, I always keep this in here. This is their Unseen Sunscreen with SPF 40. And for every day, like when I'm not wearing makeup, I like their Play SPF, which I'll probably wear that tomorrow in the vlog we'll see depending on what i do i want to go on a hike but i don't i don't really know um but this is the one that i love to use before putting on makeup because it has like a primer texture and it's completely clear this one is a chemical spf but you can see the formula is absolutely stunning and it just like goes on literally like a primer so if you have always been terrorized by SPFs, this one is going to be a really good one to pick up. And yes, I put a lot on the back of my hand because you need a lot of sunscreen. I just wanted to show you guys how much you actually need to put on. So you could probably put even more than this, to be honest. But I'm going to see how this wears first. And I know I just said I'm putting on a tinted SPF, but I always still apply SPF before applying um you know foundation even if it does have spf in it because it's always good to double up i mean the amount of spf you actually need um is not the amount of spf that you actually put on your face when it's in a tinted, tinted sunscreen like you're not going to put like a teaspoon size of foundation on your face um so i find that you know while it is a help like it's great that it has added spf you definitely aren't wearing enough to protect you from the sun so it's important to put a healthy layer underneath any foundation or tinted moisturizer you're using um so yeah i really like this one from super goop even when i'm not really wearing makeup i'll put this on sometimes uh when i want to do kind of like a no makeup makeup look i might like curl my lashes maybe put a little bit of like some glowy blush or lip balm on i'll put this one on because i find it does a really good job at smoothing the skin i'll zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see but yeah, it has kind of like a primer texture, so it really smooths out your skin and creates like a really nice base for any products that you're gonna put over top. And here come the lovely morning sirens. I love this for me, I really do. SPF is all applied. I will leave the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen link below. Whoops. It's a reef safe, non-irritating, non-synthetic fragrances, like vegan formula, everything. So it is good for the skin and the planet. But I'm gonna do my brows and then we will try the Tower 28 
sunny days broad spectrum SPF tinted sunscreen Okay, browser on I'm gonna have to do this quick because my battery is not gonna last throughout this clip just so you guys can see the texture and everything. This is also a mineral, mineral sunscreen, by the way, which is kind of great that they have mineral sunscreen and actually have like a bunch of shades. But yeah, the shade looks a little bit light. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm hoping that it can like blend into my skin. Hmm, hold on. I feel like that literally disappeared into my skin. Wait, what? That's impressive. So I guess like the shades really stretch to fit a bunch of different shades. Yeah, this is actually like matching pretty freaking nicely with the rest of my face. So I'm just gonna go in, now that I know that, I'm just gonna go in with my fingertips. Um, and yeah, this is a SPF 30. It's reef safe, mineral sunscreen, alcohol free. It's safe for sensitive skin, vegan, cruelty free, won't cause breakouts. And this is the shade 55 to mezcal. And it has nan nan or sorry, non nano zinc oxide 12.6%. So that's really good. Um, yeah, that's really oh god. Okay, maybe I went a little overboard. <laughs> we'll try and blend this out to the best of my ability. I really like the texture of it. Um, it goes on really smooth. Um, there's no like pilling or anything from the super goop sunscreen that I have underneath. So we like that. And I feel like as I continue to blend, like even though it looks like, you know, pretty light for my face, it's kind of starting to blend in a little bit more. And then I think the rest I can honestly just fix with bronzer and blush and everything. So I'm probably going to finish off with a brush. It has a really beautiful, like, natural glow on it, um, which I like. So if I do end up really liking this, I think I will actually just get the shade darker so that, you know, I don't have to, like, work with it as much. I personally always prefer to go a shade darker with my foundation because I can always fix it with, like, concealer. Um, you know, going a shade lighter is a little bit harder, but... Also because I'm a hijabi, it's honestly not that bad. <laughs> Cause you have nothing really to compare it to except my hands. I'm liking how that's looking so far. I'm just gonna finish the rest of my face off camera and then come back because your girl's home run late and I can't be messing with this hijab while I'm trying to <laughs> finish my makeup quickly. Ready to go. This is how my makeup is looking. The foundation looks absolutely stunning on my skin or the tinted sunscreen. It's so, so pretty. I feel like my makeup turned out really pretty. So I'm about to go, let me show you my outfit. I'm gonna be late, of course, but <laughs> oh well. This is what I'm wearing. I got this blazer on one of the last vlogs that you guys saw from H&M, and I really like it. I'm just pairing it with these blue jeans today from Seven for All Mankind, or Gen 7. Yeah, Gen 7, and then I just have like a, um, turtleneck underneath, brown hijab, my YSL, I always bring this out in the fall time, it's so pretty. And then just some really tall boots because these pants are really long, um, but the boots aren't really that important, but yeah. That is the fit, it's starting to get a little cooler in LA so I can get by with wearing a bunch of bla um, layers under my blazer, which I love. So yeah, this is the fit, let's go eat some brunch. So this is how the um, tinted SPF is looking. It's really looking really pretty. But as you guys know, I'm in the on the hunt for a potential home. So I'm here um, checking out this home. 
literally right behind me over here. This area is really cute. This one's more of like a farmhouse style. My real estate agent recommended that I check it out. So we'll see what it's saying. Um, it is on a corner lot, which is something that I don't normally love. But so far, just looking at it from the front, it looks really cute. So I'm excited to check it out. Stunning. I feel like however they actually like decorated everything is like very my taste. This is the master suite bathroom and it's so beautiful like marble or quartz countertops. I love the like brushed gold. It's just super pretty. Very my style. I believe they also have an upstairs so I'm gonna go check that out. Oh actually I'm gonna show you guys the closet before I leave because the closet is like huge could definitely work with that. And there's like so much space up here too. Wow. Wow, so bright. Oh, I love this. Wow. That light is insane. Oh. I'm back on this camera. Oh, I'm finding, trying to find a place to hold it so I don't have to hold it myself. But basically, I went to go see the house and I think it just made me realize like just a little too far out. Like I kind of want to stay in the city because anytime I'm meeting up with friends or I love hosting, so having friends come over, it just like, I don't know, it's a little too far out. Um, but also the house that I saw was kind of a little bit more on the expensive side of my budget or the higher side of my budget, so. That was also another factor, but the house itself was stunning. Like it was definitely my taste. They renovated it so beautifully and I loved the high ceilings, the exposed beams. I loved the exposed fireplace. Like everything about it was so beautiful. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Like I mentioned in previous videos, I'm in no rush. My lease does end at the end of December, but honestly, it wouldn't be an issue for me to just go month to month or, you know, re-sign somewhere else and just like give myself some more time and just be patient because the market, unfortunately, just really sucks right now. It's a seller's market. Tons of people interested in buying homes, but just not a lot of homes available. So it's like, you know, each home is getting a crazy amount of views and, you know, offers and stuff like that. So it's just definitely going to be a waiting game, but... Um, I just left, I met back up with my friends afterwards, so they were just kind of house shopping, or not house shopping, they were furniture shopping along La Brea, so I met up with them afterwards, and then we went to this coffee shop that I remember seeing a while back and always wanted to go to, so I told them about it, and we all just uh, walked over there, and it was really beautiful, it's called Neighborhood, um, it's on La Brea, and it's so, so cute. I'm definitely gonna have to go back for photos or something because um, it looks very like Spanish style there. It's gorgeous. But right now, I'm gonna head back home and yeah, just have like a chill night. I don't know if we're meeting up again. I did see something about karaoke, so we might be doing that or I don't know. I might just, one of my other friends wants to watch the fight, so we shall see. But I'm gonna head home. It's been a great Saturday so far. <laughs> Good morning.
morning. Happy Sunday, guys. I am about to actually go and play tennis this morning, or I'm just gonna apply some SPF. I literally was just about to leave and I remembered I forgot to apply SPF, so came back in using the Super Goop Play. Yesterday I used their Unseen sunscreen. Oh, I have some weird substance on my hand. One second. This is the one that I honestly use on an everyday basis. Um, and it's called their play. It has SPF 50 and I like this one because it's kind of like a lotion like you can apply this as like a moisturizer um, But then it has broad spectrum SPF 50 PA plus 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 and it's sweat and water resistant and although it like kind of goes on white It dries or like blends in completely clear. So I love that it is a chemical sunscreen, but of course like all super good products it's clean reef safe non-irritating um, and vegan and stuff so I know this is kind of an awkward angle I'm sorry but I'm just trying to be quick with it it does leave a little bit of a glow which is also really nice um, and you can use it all over your body as well so that's why I love that they came out with like the large version I don't know if they always had this but I always used to use the smaller version and it finishes quite quickly um, obviously because you use sunscreen every day, but then this is like massive. It's like the size of my head. So It's kind of perfect. I'm just gonna apply it here too because I tend to like roll up my arms or roll up my sleeves When I play tennis. All right, this is what I'm wearing by the way. It's like this cute little windbreaker By Fabletics. I like it because it has this big pocket in the front so I can like pop all the tennis balls in here <laughs> green legging with pockets so I can put like my phone and stuff, but let's go play some morning Sunday morning tennis y'all totally forgot to update update you guys on the tower 28 um tinted spf that i wore yesterday i love it i got compliments on it my skin looked beautiful by the end of the night like i feel like it actually lasted a while i will say it did start to kind of break up around like this area just because like you know i'm eating and wiping and the mask and stuff um but otherwise it looked really good on my skin like people were asking me what I was wearing so love that I really like it and I feel like it paired up with the super goop unseen sunscreen like perfectly so I was nice and protected yesterday um, I had a really great day yesterday too I ended up watching the fight at Dave and Buster's um, and I don't really enjoy UFC that much but it was still cool it was interesting to like watch it and stuff and then I just ended the night at home okay now let's let's finally go I don't want to be too late today So I'm all showered. I'm back into my very cozy robe. This one's from Walmart. I got it like a couple years ago, um, but it's one of my favorites for the fall time. Um, I finally <laughs> got some time to figure out this damn Samsung vacuum. And it's actually so cool. So I actually had some help figuring this all out because there was a lot of moving parts to it. But now that it's ready, I can kind of show you guys. So I just have the regular brush on and it does such a good job. But the coolest part about all of this is that I just put all of the, uh, the stuff under my guitar over here um, but it has like a bunch of different things that you can like plug into them and one of them is this one over here 
which I believe you could actually make this wet. It's a soft action brush, but it's like a mop material. And there's actually like a wet function on the, um, on the actual vacuum over here. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it, but over here there's a wet function. So I'm guessing once I attach the proper head, I can actually like mop the floor with it as well, which is really cool. And then over here, I was a little confused about this, but um, I read the manual and basically it's kind of similar to one of those like diaper uh, stations where like you push this thing and then everything gets consolidated over here, except it's for the dust. So the whole like top half of the vacuum goes in here and then it like, there's a little bag down there that collects all the dust so it doesn't like fly up in your face. Um, but I'll link it down below so you guys can keep an eye on it because maybe it's gonna go on sale for Black Friday or something or Cyber Monday. I would, I would be surprised if it wasn't, but look how good this cleans, I'm like so happy. This is how you know you're an adult when a vacuum excites you. And it's a lot like easier to kind of maneuver around, which I like, so. I'm just gonna turn it on over here. Yeah, I just have it on the mid, but you can like increase it to max. But I feel like mid is perfect. And that's such a good job. I'm so happy. So I didn't do like a big deep clean or anything, but as you can see, well hopefully you can see, I know the glare is kind of making it hard, but there's some dust in there. There is a good amount of dust. I'm actually going to switch the top off this. Okay, yeah, I just attached the smaller head and I'm going to vacuum the couch now because I haven't done that in a minute. So far, so good. You can see all the dust in there. Um, but I'm quite happy with that. I'm not going to clean the rest of my house today. Unfortunately, I don't have time. I have so much work to do. Oh my God, so much work. Um, but I think I'm gonna end the video off over here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. I was kind of editing it earlier and um, I'm really liking how it's turning out. So let me know what you guys think. If you like this style of vlog, um, like cute little weekend vlogs with nice montages and like relaxing music and stuff, please let me know. Um, but like I said, I'll link the Samsung vacuum thing down below. It was gifted, so I do wanna like make that apparent, but of course, these are all like my first impressions and opinions. And as I kind of start to use it, I definitely want to use the mop and like actually do a deep clean. I'll share like my honest full thoughts with you guys like throughout the vlogs and stuff and on my Instagram stories. So I'll also link all of the products that I use throughout this video, including the Supergoop SPF products. Thank you again to Supergoop for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Love the brand, very happy that I can continue my partnership with them over the next year. They are literally my hands down number one favorite SPF brand, and I promise you if you try it, they will be your number one favorite SPF brand as well. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new and haven't subscribed yet, and give this video a thumbs up if you would like maybe more weekend vlogs or just like this style of lifestyle vlogs as well. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, bye. Mwah.